Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about using the updated Google Meet. So since many schools went to distance learning in the springtime, Google has listened to teachers all around the world, and they've implemented lots of different updates into Google Meet. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Google Meet, whether you used it last spring or whether you've never used it, and how you can use it in your classrooms. So there are many ways to start a Google Meet. The easiest way is to go to meet.google.com, and that will take you to this screen. You can also go to any Google page, and from the menu in the top right hand corner, you can click on that. And when you scroll down through the applications, you'll find a link to Google Meet. You can also schedule a Google Meet through your Google Calendar. So if you click on a time that you would like to schedule your Meet, you can put in a title. And then down here, you can select Add Google Meet Video Conferencing. And that will create a link for you. And right now I can join the Google Meet or I can select this little drop down here that will give me a link to that Google Meet. I can also add guests in that I would like to invite to that Meet. And the newest way is from your Gmail. There's actually a menu now that allows you to start a meeting or join a meeting. So if I select start a meeting, it'll start up a new Google Meet. Another way is to use a link directly through Google Classroom. So you'll see in the banner here, there's a Meet link that I can turn on and off. If I go up to the settings and click on that, I can scroll down and then I have options for a Google Meet. I can make it visible to students or I can make it invisible to students. So by clicking on this little circle, I can turn it on and off so that students can either see the link or not see the link. And there's also an option to click on this arrow here that allows me to copy the URL or I can reset it so that it's a whole different one um, that didn't exist before. So whichever way you get to Google Meet, I'm gonna show you how to actually use the Meet. So let's click on join or start a meeting. And it's gonna allow me to create a meeting nickname. So let's call this EdTech Show and continue. So now you'll see my camera, and I know the audio is off because I'm recording on my desktop, but you're looking at my laptop. So let's turn the camera off. So you'll see down here, there's a little camera icon. That will let you toggle the camera on and off. So if it's got the red circle with the line through, it means the camera's off. And if you click on it, it will turn the camera back on. And then to turn it off, you just click on it again. And the same goes for the microphone. I can select um, the microphone to turn it off so that no sound is being uh, recorded, or I can click it again so that people can hear me. So to turn the mic on and off is just as simple as clicking it. So let's join now so you can see what the screen looks like. And here it shows you what the name is. It has a direct link to my Google Meet. It also has a phone number. So for anybody that can't actually attend the meeting, they can actually call in so that they can listen. Uh, and then you can copy all the joining info. Also from the screen, you can add people. So from here, I can enter in people's names or email addresses to invite them, or I can select call and enter a phone number. The little red phone here in the middle will allow you to leave the call. There's also an option to turn on captions. So if I was to turn my microphone back on and turn on captions, it will have an automatic service that creates captions for you. And then to turn that off, you just click on it again. I can present my screen. So presenting your screen allows anybody on your Google Meet to see what is on your screen. So let's say I wanted to show everybody my YouTube channel. I can click present now. And I have three different options. I can either show them my entire screen, uh, a window from my internet browser, or a Chrome tab. Now a Chrome tab is what you're gonna wanna select if you have videos or animations, especially if they have sound. So if I was to select a Chrome tab, down here on the bottom, it says share audio. I can select this tab here, which is my YouTube channel, click share. And now it tells you that everybody 
um, at home is seeing this. It tells me I'm presenting to everybody. And up top here, it allows me to stop if I want to um, stop sharing my screen. So let's say I wanted to show everybody this new Jamboard video. So now everybody at home is listening and watching this video, and they're doing it right through our Google Meet. And again, to stop that, all I have to do is go up top here to stop. And now we're back to our screen. If you want to see what that looks like, let me go back to present now. I'll go to a Chrome tab, and then I'll choose the YouTube one. And when I come back here, this will show you that you're presenting your screen. So everybody else is watching that video, um, and it's telling you that on your screen, you're presenting. And again, if you want to turn the audio off, you can just click presentation audio, and then that will turn it off if it's gray, and it's on if it's that teal color. There's a few other options in the bottom right here. The top is to record the meeting. So if you wanted to record your Google Meet and then post it later so anybody who wasn't there can watch it or just so that anybody can go back and watch it again, you can click record meeting. It'll give you a consent message. If you click accept, it will start recording and you'll see in the top left, it has a little record message. To stop recording, you just go back to the bottom right corner and click on stop recording. You can change the layout. And again, you can decide if you want it to be the sidebar, which would be the person speaking uh, is in the big box. And then you have little thumbnails of other people. Spotlight, which is full screen, whoever's talking. Or tiled, where you can see um, lots of different people and they don't get bigger based on who's talking. It just allows you to see more faces or you can select auto and Google Meet will decide for you. You can also make your meeting full screen, another way to turn on your captions. You can also go to settings and the settings will allow you to toggle between which microphone and which video camera you wanna use. So um, you'll see the microphones, there's different options based on what your computer setups are, different speakers, uh, and then video. You can decide which webcam you're gonna use. You can also decide if you're gonna do standard resolution or high definition. Now, some of you might not have the ability to change this if your schools have locked it, um, but if you do, it allows you to change the resolution for sending videos and receiving. And then when you're done, you can just select done. You also up top here have the ability to see who's in your Google Meet. If you click on this little icon with the person, it allows you to see everybody in the meet. And so if there were several people, they would all be listed here and it would give you the opportunity to mute them um, or to pin them. If you pin somebody, it will make their screen bigger for your view only. So they won't know that you've pinned them and it won't pin it for anybody else just for your screen. It will put them up um, in a big space so that you can see them. You can also add new people in from here. If you click on add people, it'll take you to that same screen where you can invite people. And then there's also a chat feature and this will allow you to type in messages and everybody will be able to see that. And then you'll be able to see everybody else's as well. And then again, when you're all done and you wanna leave your meeting, you can just click leave call and it will take you to this screen and your meeting is over. You do have the ability if you wanted to rejoin and then you can just join again. So while there's no doubt that Google Meet has come a long way in a short amount of time, Google has also announced a lot of really exciting updates for this upcoming school year. I actually detailed all these updates in a different video and you can find that in the description below or by clicking on the link above. Now, if you found this video helpful, please consider giving this a like and by clicking on that subscribe button and clicking on the bell next to it. So that way you get notified every time I release a new video. Please also consider sharing this video with a teacher that you think might benefit from it. Also, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please consider giving me a follow at Dan Spada and following me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Ed Tech Show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.